Hi, this short video is going to summarize and show you how the participation penalty is calculated on the federal side of the uh, accountability work. This builds off from the video that was done to show you how to do the uh, points-based proficiency calculation earlier uh, in a different time. So this, uh, if you saw that video, this is a very similar, this is almost identical as far as the spreadsheet is concerned, but I want to point out a couple things. A couple things have in fact changed. Number one is that we're looking at the students tested versus all students. So, so far, everything, the calculations work out to be the same. So that we had 32 students that tested. The final number of points was this, the four, excuse me, the 7.488. And the proficiency score is right here. That is, that is unchanged. However, in this particular case, we were expecting, the state was expecting 40 students to test. And so if you take a look at the comparison of 32 divided by 40, you do not end up with 95% of students expected to test actually testing. So there is a participation or lack of participation penalty. So what would have that 95%, how many students would that have been? So 95% of 40 is actually 38 students. So we see that number here. Now, when you do that, the when you look at that, the penalty, what is how the calculation is, you'll see that here is the what we calculated before is the proficiency score, the total number of points, 7.488 divided by n, meaning the number of students. Prior to this, without the penalty, we were looking at 32 being the number. That would be the number of students who tested. But because that was not 95%, we're now going to have to look at how many would have been 95%. So the 38 is now the number that goes in the denominator. So instead of dividing 7.488 by 32, we're dividing it by 38. What do we end up with? We end up with 19.71% or a proficiency score of 19.7. And you can see that's significantly lower than the proficiency score had we had that 95th percentile uh, participation uh, reached. So participation does matter as far as the federal identification is concerned. And uh, if you have questions about how that is actually calculated or works for your school, please let me know. Thank you.